right, for today's lesson, we're going to definitely switch gears from the graphing lesson we did uh, for the last one. Um, I, I have a strong feeling you're going to find this to be easier. Uh, we're going to just solve equations. No graphing today. We're going to find x, basically, um, but there will be logs in the equations, which you've never seen before. Okay, so let's just, let me show you here. Here's an example. Okay, so as you can see, we're now missing a piece of the problem. We're missing this right here. And so we've got to figure out what x would be. Now some of these are easy enough where you could stare at them, but I want to show you the process here. So the process of solving all these, when there's just this one log in the, in the, in the equation, is just to use the, uh, the same rule. I mean, we're going to use what we already did. We're going to take this to the power of this has to equal this. Yes, it's that simple. This to the power of this equals this. So write that down. That would be 5 squared equals x. 5 squared is 25, so x equals 25. Put a box around it, you're done. Let's make it a little more interesting on this next one. But not much. Okay, this isn't that different. So here's the log part, okay, the log base 7 of x minus 9. We have this 8 out in front of the log. Before we try to do any tricks or anything, before we try to get rid of the logs here, we need to get rid of this number here. We're going to isolate, so step one is going to be to isolate the log part, this part. Okay, so if you have anything here or if, if you had a plus, you know, one plus or something like that, you got to get rid of all that stuff first. So in this case, we're going to divide by eight. So our first step, we would have log base seven of x minus nine equals one because I just divided by 8 both sides. So the 8's gone here, and 8 divided by 8 is 1. Once you get down to that part, then you, you once you have it to where it's just the log part is here and there's no extra stuff anywhere, it's just that part, then we're going to use the definition of log. The definition of log is that the base of the log to this power over here will equal this thing over here. So we're going to write 7 to the first power equals x minus 9. And then all we're going to do now is that's obviously that's 7 equals x minus 9. And then I'm going to add 9, get 16. That's it. One of the good things about whenever we solve equations, I can't help but remind you guys that whenever you have an answer down here, you can always go up here and put it in for x and check it to see if everything works out to where this, when you put a 16 in there, you get 16 minus 9, which is 7. Log base 7 of 7 is 1, and 1 times 8 is 8. You know, you could, I'm going a little fast there, but you can think about that. Always realize that when you have an answer, especially on a test or a quiz where you want to make sure you're right, Take that thing, plug it in there, and just work work it out. See if it all makes sense. This is about as difficult as they're going to get. This is going to be a very short video. I'm going to show you one more uh, situation that can occur, but it's even easier than this. Um, so one more example here. So what if we have log show up more than once in the in the equation? We got log over here. We got log over here. Well, that's an even easier situation. They're going to be the same base, so it's log base 9 of this equals log base 9 of this. If you have the log of something equals the log of something, then this equals this. Let's even, let's write that rule down first. Let me give you a generic rule. Uh, log of any base of x equals log of the same base of another thing, we'll call it y. If this, if you have this, then x must equal y. That's a rule. A lot of rules for logs, but hopefully they'll just come naturally. We'll take them one, one at a time, and it'll kinda, you won't have to memorize them. So let's get to the problem. So it really is this simple. This is like seventh grade algebra now. Looks fancy because of the logs in there, but it really is, is not. <clears throat> Um, add 4x, you get 9x, 
and then we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. That gives you 0. This one actually is weird answer of x equals 0. That's it. I don't think there's any reason to do much more. I think you'll realize that when you guys are working on the assignment in class uh, tomorrow. So uh, let's just stop there. You know, I'll be here if you have any, if there's any extra weird ones. But from what I saw, it looks like it's pretty much in these two categories. It's either going to be uh, a log of something equals log of something, and you basically just get rid of the logs and just set that equal to that. Or you're going to have one log, and you're just going to use the, the definition of the log and convert it to get rid of the log. All right. Work hard, be nice. See you soon.